Good morning guys. Good morning and welcome back to a new vlog. How you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. Very enthusiastic. Very enthusiastic for considering how tired I actually am off camera. I'm like falling asleep still. I've probably got also to sleep with breakfast. So Marcus is grumpy because he needs those those healthy gains. Dude, we need it for today. Yeah, I know. We actually do. Still annoying that I can't tell you guys what we're doing. You guys are allowed to guess, but I'm just not allowed to confirm, so you can probably work out what we're doing. Can you have a clue? Or well, hopefully not bloody like that, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, this camera is about to run out of charge, I've got another one charging in the room. But I just want to say I hope you're having a lovely day. Alex, who's with us from Gleam, is, is she still asleep? No, but I'm stuck, we're stuck in there. What do you mean we're stuck? Well, look, have you put your room key yeah. there? Surely star is... No, I just put one. There we go, mate. Well, what's star then? Well, you're not special enough for that one. I am. You're not. So Alex is, is she still asleep? She's well, no, awake, she but she's in sleep. No, she's awake, but she's asleep. That doesn't make sense. She's awake, but she's not up yet. Oh. Joe is also too tired to be up. My flies are also undone. We're just gonna go grab some breakfast, although technically breakfast has finished. So we're just gonna see what we can get. I think we're like 11 minutes late for breakfast and the woman was just like, nah. It's all tidied up, it's being, it's being taken away. Here we go, Marcus. There's your second home, mate. Actually, saying that, I could have actually had a gym session today. And here is a pizza place here, or you can walk. Uh, is there anything other than pizza? Uh, it's a pizza place, but also you can have... Woo! It's nice and cold outside. My nipples are going to be peaking any minute. It's got some good, it's fresh though. Yeah, I Blooming like fresh. I feel like we're out in the countryside or something. Can we go? Can we go? I don't trust it. Yeah, let's go. You guys over here are super polite. We just met Monica, who was lovely, chatting about how nice this country is and some good places to go. I had a sneaky little pitch with Marcus's bicep. The t-shirt is really tight. <laughs> yeah, they the place, the thing that we're filming for today. Have you seen the t-shirts that we're wearing? Have you honestly not? No. Trying to find out where we're going. I don't think this is it, man. Yeah. No one is in there. <laughs> yeah, but it's, no one's in there. It's not open. No, bro, you're going in another shop. <laughs> That's not the restaurant. Oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> well, I mean, this is better than nothing, isn't it? <laughs> Arara. Arara. <laughs> Oi, look, your mum. Do you guys do breakfast? Uh, omelette. Yeah? yeah? You do an yeah. omelette? Yes, of course. Cool. Amazing. Yes. Perfect. Yes. We get to choose whichever seat. Let's do it. Good breakfast. They call me rice gum. <laughs> uh, yeah, considering the situation. Oh my gosh. It is time to get going. I don't even know what I need, to be honest. I really, really want to be able to tell you guys what we're doing. Do I need my wash bag? It's time to shoot this secret project. We're getting picked up now, downstairs. All the others are down there. I've just been getting my vlog up as quick as possible for you. I think it is all good. I get scared, I get on edge when I have to leave my, like my heart is literally pounding when I have to leave my vlog uploading by itself. I've scheduled everything, all tweets and Facebooks and everything and the video to go live by itself, but I'm not gonna actually be on my laptop to, to check it's all gone good. So, so hopefully, hopefully it'll go okay. All right. We're jumping in. Hi mate. How's your breakfast? Marcus, how scared are you? Oh, chilled. Chilled and That's as good, you Jack. said that, it's got butterflies. <laughs> Here we go, we've just arrived at location number one. It's looking pretty nice. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. It's bright out here. Cheers. Lucky I bought my sunglasses. We are shooting until 3.30 in the morning. And I bought my chocolate bar now. <laughs> Oi. Those are blue. Where? More quiz? Where are you? Oi, that is scary as it is. Okay, 
Oh my gosh. So, what we're shooting, I know I keep on talking about what we're doing, but not, <laughs> but not telling you exactly what we're doing. We're shooting something with ITV that is very, very scary. Even that's creepy. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to eat your kidneys. <laughs> Never imagine just coming down here at night going, look down there. Oh, I want to turn the light on down here. This is bloody scary. Marcus. Trust you. <laughs> Marcus has got the biggest bum. Oh no, you don't actually anymore. You've lost yeah, quite a lot of your bum. Do, is it still big? Still there. Oh, that's good. I'm happy. Still there, the menage. A bit of a change of scenery, guys. I want to talk about falling. When you fall, you get back up. You remember why you started. I don't physically mean fall over. I mean when you're trying to do something in life and it doesn't work out, it doesn't go to plan, the thing that you pictured in your head happening so vividly doesn't work out. That isn't failing. That's just part of life. Sometimes things don't happen the way in which we want them to happen. That's okay because we learn from our mistakes, we pick ourselves back up and we keep going. We remember in our heads at all times why we started, why we were pushing, why we were driving so hard and so fast to achieve our goals and our aims. And we put all of that energy and all of that effort into getting back up and fighting for what you want to do. I don't even have anything specific that I'm talking about. I'm just talking about everything, about life. There are so many things that I've accomplished that I never dreamt that I would even be able, like I didn't even think were possible. Whether that was me not enjoying English lessons in school and finding English probably the hardest subject, I'm not gonna lie, just because I didn't have a passion for it. So I didn't have the drive to keep on going and wanting to pass, but I had to get a minimum of a C in GCSE to be able to get into college. So I worked my butt off, and I got those two C's in English and English literature. Even though, even though I didn't particularly enjoy it. That's just what I had to do. And we all have situations and things that we've driven and pushed so hard to achieve that we forget about and that are in the past, but don't forget about them. Use those successes to drive you further to create more success in the future. <sighs> I don't know why I'm feeling like this. This is the first clip since I've been home. I got home a couple of hours ago and Zoe's not here. Nala's not here. I've been thinking about the filming, the opportunity that I just had over the last couple of days abroad with Marcus and Joe and how crazy what we were able to experience and take part in actually is. And I've just been thinking about how lucky I am. How lucky I am to have all of you guys. How lucky I am to have done everything I've done in my life at the age of 23. Like, it is crazy. I'm 23 years old. But mainly that there's nothing different between me achieving my goals and my dreams and you achieving your goals and your dreams. Like, all I'm trying to say, guys, is don't give up on your dreams. If you want something in life, blooming go and get it. And don't stop until you get it. And you will get knocked down on the way. There will be things that are so hard along the way that you feel like giving up and you, you just have to at all times remember why you started. That is the only reason that is going to keep you going. Remember why you started. You wouldn't be trying to achieve it if deep down you didn't want to achieve it. Whether that's passing a grade in school. Whether that's making a new friend. Whether that's writing a book. Whether that's making YouTube videos. Whether that's to be that lawyer. To get that accounting job. To do whatever you want in life. To be an artist. You're going to have to make some crap art. To be able to make good art. I've made my so many crap videos. I'm sure I'm going to look back on this video in the future and be like, that was a load of crap. But right now, I'm enjoying making it. And it's part of the process. It's part of taking those steps to get to the end goal. But I don't even, I don't even think there is an end goal. Because once you're at that goal, you can set yourself a new goal and you just carry on and on. You take baby steps and you get there. I just don't want any of you guys to want something in life and feel like it's unachievable. Because it's not. And there's so many people that I see every day giving up on their dreams. Thinking that their dreams can't be reality one day. And it makes me sad. 
Like it genuinely does. What's the point in accepting failure? There isn't a point. There isn't, there's no such thing as failure. Because, because to be able to succeed, you have to fail. So therefore failing is a part of succeeding. I remember being back in school and thinking, how are those kids getting such crazy, crazy grades? Like, don't get me wrong, I got quite good grades myself in school, but in GCSE I got two A's, six B's, and three C's. But you know those kids who just get like 10 A stars, or like 10 A's and two A stars, and then you ask them like, blimmin' egg, you got amazing, well done, and they're like, yeah, I didn't really work too much, and they did. They worked their butt off, and you know what? They're saying that because they don't want to say that they work their butt off. Because as if that's like a bad thing to do. If I could go back to school, I would spend every single second, I promise you, in lesson, working my butt off. Out of lesson, I would be revising every day. Because, what? why not? That's the whole point of school, is to come out with good grades. So why would you turn up to school every day, if you're not going to do your absolute best to get those good grades? And that's the same with work. If you want to get that raise, if you want to get that managerial role, if you want to get from one job to the next job, then you've got to show that you're committed, that you're dedicated, that you're bloody amazing. You've got to be better than everybody else because that's just how it is. And you can be because the people that are better at you are only better at you because they're trying to be better than you. So you need to try and be better than them. And that's possible. Of course that's possible because... Because they're doing that. They're currently doing that, so why can't you? And that's the same with anything. If you look at an artist and think, oh my gosh, how did they get so famous? A singer, because they worked their butt off and they've made crap songs and they've done crap art and they've painted crap art and they've drawn crap art and they've made crap art along the way that got them to where they are today. And now they're making amazing stuff. Pretty deep, eh? I did not expect this to be my first clip back home. I thought I was going to get back home and just carry on some normal normal daily vlogging. I'm sorry if you didn't want to listen to what I just said. If you didn't, then you probably clicked off the video by now. If you're still here, thank you. I'm sorry for my spiel. I just wanted to... I just wanted to get that off my chest because it bothers me when I see people online who aren't chasing their dreams. But I know you guys... I know what you're like, I know how strong you are, I know how courageous you guys are. Anything is possible, I'm telling you now, anything. Last night I got two and a half hours sleep. We finished filming, I got back to my hotel at 5.30 a.m. I went to bed. And then I had to get up early to catch my flight back today. Obviously I cut yesterday's vlog early, as you can tell, that's why we're going into today, because I wasn't allowed to daily vlog when we're filming on set for what we were, and we're filming for like 15 hours or something. I'm home alone. Zoe's at her mum's, and Zoe took Nala with her, and it's weird, it's really, really, really weird, like, it's quiet, like, I'm used to Zoe not being here, it's not that I don't miss Zoe, I do miss Zoe not being here, of course I do, I'm used to always being around Zoe, but it's even more weird not having Nala here, like, she would always be sitting on me, or sitting on my feet, or laying next to me, or making some little, like, cute snoring noises, like, the house is silent, I don't, I feel like I should, like, invite a friend over, or do something. I feel like I should go out and go bowling or go rock climbing or go to the gym or do something. But it is nice to just sit back, do nothing and chill. And I think it's important that I do that today. Just started watching the new episode of Hunted. If you're not already watching this series, you need to go and check it out. It is insane. It's basically pairs of people have to just run away from like X MI5 and like detectives and their job is to track them down in 30 days and if they don't find them within 30 days they win 100,000 pounds they're not allowed out of the country and I don't think they have like 200 pounds each or something to last them the month so they can't get like a hotel or anything but obviously all CCTV is tracked any cars they ever use are tracked like it is so crazy. You need to go check it out. It's called Hunted. I'm going to go to sleep now. Thank you for watching this mixed up, disheveled day. I hope you've enjoyed it somehow. If you have your challenge today, you smashed yesterday's challenge so much. I asked for 30... Wait, did I even ask for 32? Maybe I asked for 26,000 thumbs up. I don't know. The new vlog is literally on like 36,000 thumbs up or something. Ridiculous. So your challenge today... Let's just match it. Your challenge today is 36 
thousand thumbs up guys if you can do it you are incredible if you can't you're still incredible subscribe if you haven't already leave some lovely comments leave some comments telling me what you're up to what your dreams are what your ambitions are in life i'm going to try and reply to a load of you tomorrow i'll see you in the morning good night guys i'll see you soon i'm gonna miss you